quickie pre-MRF update. I have this printer I am currently working on. I had a lot of problems with it at first where the um, um, it would randomly be printing and then just move to a corner and come back, which would destroy the prints. I mean, I got some really nasty prints as a result of that. Turns out it was the filament runout sensor. So I got rid of that and the problems went away and it's working like a dream. So here's some sample prints I've made. Here's the Marvin. The Vern rocket. Very nice. Let's get that off. Oh, I forgot to put a bottom on it. <laughs> the vase. Benji. Very nice, Benji. Actually, that's a really nice Benji. Wow. And my new Maker Coin that I made a little thinner. Come on. There it goes. Oh, very nice. Not bad. That's the typical matte pattern of painter's tape. But yeah, I squished it down to 8 millimeters. I like it a lot better like that. Very cool. It even got those little line details there. Not bad. Now, what's special about this printer? It's $479. And it's a 445 printer. That's GMAX territory, kiddos. 400 by 400 by 500 millimeters. Yeah, we're going to have fun with this thing. I've already got a 250 hour, 3.5 kilogram print that I'm going to be running on this after I get back from Murph and I finish my testing. Oh, yeah. There's all the debris from opening this thing. The packaging was absolutely enormous. This is largely pre assembled like the CR10. It goes, matter of fact, identical to the CR10 in assembly. One problem cooling blows. You can see on the back of the Marvin, it basically doesn't have any cooling. This fan here, this cooling fan, just blows into here. There's no ducting. It just blows in there. So, yeah, that's garbage. We'll have to replace that. But otherwise, and this surprised me, the spool holder is a bearing that sits on top of the brain box. And it works. I was leery about it, but it works. It gave me no issues whatsoever. So I'm a little bit impressed by that. But there you go. AlphaWise U10 coming soon to today's 3D print. This is going to be fun.